the Mola Mola Fish, or Ocean Sunfish, written by Scout Burns, a dramatic reading. So someone in a group asked me to tell them why I hate the Ocean Sunfish so much, and apparently it was too mean and was deleted. To perpetuate the truth and stand up for ethical journalism, I'm posting it here. Rated NC-17 for language. Disclaimer. I care about marine life more than I care about anything else. For real. Except this big, dumb idiot. And it's not like an ironic thing. I mean, it is hilarious to me that they are the biggest joke played on Earth, but I seriously fucking hate them. The Mola Mola Fish or Ocean Sunfish. They are the world's largest bony fish, weighing up to 5,000 pounds. And since they have very little girth, that just makes them these absolutely giant fucking dinner plates that God must have accidentally dropped while washing dishes one day and shrugged his shoulders at because no one could have imagined this would happen. And with no purpose. Every pound of that is a wasted pound, and every foot of it, 10 foot by 14 foot, is wasted space. They are so completely useless that scientists even debate about how they move. They have very little control other than some minor wiggling. Some say they must just push water out of their mouths for direction. They could use their back fin, except guess what? It doesn't fucking grow. It just continually folds in on itself, so the freaking cells are being made. This piece of floating garbage just doesn't put them where they need to fucking go. So they don't have swim bladders. You know, the one thing that every fish has to make sure it doesn't just sink to the bottom of the ocean, where they stop moving and can't stay the right side up. This creature, that can barely move to begin with, can never stop its continuous tour of idiocy across the ocean or it will fucking sink. Except, except, when they get stuck on top of the water, which happens frequently. Because without the whole swim bladder thing, if the ocean pushes the thinnest but largest, most topplable fish on the planet, shit out of luck. There's no creature on this earth that needs a swim bladder more than this spit in the face of nature. And yet, some scientists have speculated that when they do that, they are absorbing energy from the sun because no one fucking knows how they manage to get any real energy to begin with. So they need the sun, I guess. But good news, when they end up stuck like that, it gives birds a chance to land on their goddamn island of a body and eat the bugs and parasites out of its skin, because it's basically a slowly migrating cesspool. Pros and cons. If they are so huge, they must at least be decent predators. No. No. The most dangerous thing about them is, as you may have guessed, their stupidity. They have caused the death of one person before, because... <laughs> Because it jumped onto a boat. <laughs> On a human. And in 2005, it decided to relive its mighty glory days and do it again. This time, landing on a four-year-old boy. Luckily, Byron sustained no injuries. Way to go, fish. Great job. They mostly only eat jellyfish. Because, of course they do. They can only eat something that has no brain and a possibility of drifting into their mouths, I guess. Everything they do eat has almost zero nutritional value, and because it's so stupidly fucking big, it has to eat a ton of the almost no nutritional value stuff to stay alive. Dumb. See that ridiculous open mouth? This is actually why this is my favorite picture of one, and I've had it saved to my phone for three years. Oh no! What could have happened? How could this be? Don't let that expression fool you. They just don't have the goddamn ability to close their mouths because their teeth are fused together. And you know what? It is good it floats around with such a clueless expression on its face because it is, in fact, 
clueless as all fuck. They do sometimes get eaten though, but hardly. No animal truly uses them as a food source, but instead... <laughs> But Zed will usually just maim the fuck out of them for kicks. <laughs> Seals have been seen playing with their fins like frisbees. Probably the most useful thing to ever come from them. Wow, you raise some good points here. This fish is truly proof that God has abandoned us. Yes, thank you. But if they are so bad at literally everything, why haven't they gone extinct? Great question. <laughs> because this thing is so worthless, it doesn't realize it should not exist. It is so unaware of literally fucking everything that it doesn't realize it is doing maybe the worst fucking job of being a fish. Or debatably, the worst job of being a cluster of cells than any other cluster of cells. <laughs> so what does it do? It lays the most eggs out of everything. <laughs> Besides some bugs, and there are some ants and stuff that will lay more, it will lay 300 million eggs at one time. 300 million. It survives because it would be statistically improbable, dare I say impossible, that there wouldn't be at least one of those 300 million left surviving at the end of the day. <laughs> and this concludes why I hate the fuck out of this complete failure of evolution, the ocean sunfish. <laughs> if I see one, I will throw rocks at it. <laughs> Fuck me dead. <laughs>